Hi everyone, this is Lenora, Hawaii's Pickle Lady. Today I'm showing you how to make gauji. And this is like a one ton, but it's folded a little differently. You can make it in soup for noodles, or the most popular way is it's deep fried. And it's served on the side of chow mein noodles or egg uh, noodles, different kinds of things like that. Or you can just eat it separate like that. Now I have the pork hash mixture which has shrimp in it and we'll put a link as to how to make it. So when you're not using your uh, skins for a while, cover it with plastic wrap or damp towel because it tends to dry out very easily. So I've, I've peeled off some of the skins because they, they stick and it's hard to get it apart. So this way it'll be easy. And you see I put plastic wrap here so I don't have to worry about you know a dirty counter or anything like that. So I just put the square right on the counter and put a generous amount of filling, maybe a tablespoon and a half. And then take a little water and go right around it halfway and then carefully push it down and make sure it's sealed. And then I usually stack it up like this until I have enough for me to put it in soup or to fry it. Again, see it's so sticky, it's starting to stick already. So put some water here, not too much, and then just carefully fold it. But be careful not to get the, the meat where the seal is going to be. And then just stack it up like that until you're ready to use it. And this filling has pork hash, which is just ground pork that you can make your own, chop it up, grind it up, or you can buy it commercially. That's probably the easiest way, and it's just as good. So match it up there and seal it. And make enough until you have enough to fry. Now, if you want to make extra, what you do is you flash freeze it. Don't put it all in a bag like this because it'll stick like crazy. So if you want to freeze some extras, just put it on a, a plate but not touching each other, a plate or a, a tray of some sort. And then freeze it and when it's hard to the touch, then you take it out and you can uh, put it in a plastic bag and when you want to eat it you just take out as many as you like and that's it. This is fun to make. Kids can help to make it too. And I think when you add the shrimp it's another dimension. It's really tasty. Sometimes at home in Hawaii when people have potlucks They'll just order a bunch of gauji fried and take it to a, a dinner. And it goes very fast because people really like this. Now we're going to fry the gauji. And I want to tell you that if you make this, don't make it too far in advance because I only made this two hours ago. And you see how it's sticking to each other? And this is a really bad one, but I can still save it a little bit and fry it. So I have here some oil. And the way you test the oil, if it's hot, 
is you stick a wooden chopstick on the bottom and you see all those bubbles if the bubbles are there that means it's hot enough and we're ready to go so I'm going to carefully put this in finished one should look like this. Doesn't take long to cook because there's not a whole bunch of filling in there. And I have a brown paper bag that I opened up and that's how I drain my food. You can serve this just as is. You can make the dip with any kind of sauce, oyster sauce, soy sauce, and vinegar. Um, you can eat it alongside of noodles. You can also put this in soup. Not quite these, so it's a good thing. I said if you want to freeze this before it gets all sticky like this put it on a tray in the freezer not touching each other and then when they're hard then you put it in the plastic bag and then you it's ready you can use it whenever you want So I'll just fry the rest. Let's try this. Mm. Delicious. You can make it. And be sure to smash the like button and subscribe and comment. And if you have any comments, put it down below. And if you have any questions, let me know if you want me to make something. Thank you for watching. Mahalo.